the body of an Egyptian protester is carried out of a makeshift Cairo hospital. The demonstrator was among dozens gunned down during early morning clashes with security forces in the Egyptian capital. Outside the hospital, relatives waited to collect the bodies of loved ones. This man lost his nephew. He was a child, 17 years old, a student who had memorized the entire Quran, a small child who came to ask for his freedom, he says. This man found out his brother had died when someone else picked up his phone. He told me he saw Ahmed had taken two bullets to his brain and he was killed, he says. Most of the dead were supporters of former President Mohamed Morsi, who was ousted earlier this month by the military. People here say security forces opened fire on demonstrators during a peaceful protest in suburban Cairo, describing the scene as a slaughter. But at a news conference, Egypt's interior minister denied security forces used live ammunition and blamed the Muslim Brotherhood for exaggerating the death toll for political ends. More than 200 people have been killed in fighting since Morsi was deposed on July 3rd.